The internet certainly makes it easier for people to become radicalized. That's how I was radicalized, that's how many new people are being radicalized. It's easy for any person to go online and find like-minded people, whether you're an incel, Antifa, or pedophile, neo-Nazis, or Islamist jihadist. They can congregate online and feed off each other. I was 16 when my dad passed away and my world had basically shattered. I didn't have a strong sense of self back then. What I was really looking for was something to wrap my identity around. I ride Stormfront almost every single day. Yeah, I did a lot of the self-radicalizing online. When I was in that mindset, my husband and I, we found a huge community online. It was great for us. We couldn't talk to everybody about our ideas, but online, every, everybody would feed off each other's uh, Islamic um, principles and we'd bounce off each other and we just, it, it was unhealthy, yeah. Tragedy strikes at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. But a week after the, the massacre in Pittsburgh, a photo came to light of a bunch of predominantly white high school kids in Bourbon, Wisconsin, all giving a Hitler salute. And the photo went viral, and the whole world was pissed off at these kids. Everybody wanted their heads, and I ended up going and talking to the whole school. But the first thing I said is like, you know, I, I get it. I, if that was my thing as a teenager. If I saw a way to lash out, I'm gonna do it. The reason that we are so concerned about online radicalization is largely because we learned how to manipulate it. This is Jesse Curtis Morton. He helped found Revolution Muslim. Revolution Muslim was very much the first organization to tap into the power of online radicalization. We learned how to make a message from a man in Abbottabad, Pakistan, resonate in 20-second soundbite clips. At Revolution Muslim, he encouraged others to engage in violent jihad. The Revolution Muslim was growing and getting more and more connected to terrorist plots like Jihad Jane, Boston Marathon bombers, and Usman Khan, who killed people in the United Kingdom. I knew Usman Khan. He radicalized inside of my pal talk rooms on the internet. The internet allows people that would otherwise be isolated, lonely, have no significance, have no meaning, have no purpose, to identify with a movement that gives them everything they ever wanted. To ensure you keep receiving Clarion Project's free videos, click the subscribe button right next to me.